person that I met when I got up here was Stoney on the barber shot, used to give bootleg haircut. That's right, 25 cents for haircut, see? And he give you what they call the bowl cut. Then they put a bowl on your head and they cut around it. Made all the niggas look Chinese. Because that's the only way you could get a job on the railroads, eh? That's right, they wasn't hiring no niggas, see? Nigga want real money. Chinese work for that Yang money, see? Nigga didn't want that shit, see? So that's the best you could do, though, so then we did it. So, Chinese are funny people, boy, you know what they can do? Eat with sticks. Swear to God, I seen the Chinese man have two sticks like this and a bowl of food didn't drop a goddamn speck. Nigga lose three pounds of food with a knife and fart. <laughs> so, I had this friend, my partner, his name was Tootlum, see? Old big nigga, big Roebuck nigga, see? Worked over at the foundry lifting motors, see? That's right, made about 38 cents an hour. That was big money in them days, see? So, he could lie his ass off too. All that nigga could tell lie. So that's how we became friends, see? He tell a lie, I tell a lie, see? And we compliment each other's lies, see? He'd make me laugh all day long, see? bless his soul. He told me this lie one time, he told me about the niggas with the big dicks. Said, yeah, you ever heard of it? Niggas had the bigger dicks than the war, and they were trying to find a place where they could have their contest, see? And they wasn't no freaks, didn't want everybody looking. So they walking around looking for a secret place. So they walked across the Golden Gate Bridge, and the niggas think that water and made him want to piss, see? Father said, man, I got to take a leak. And he pulled his thing out with pissing. Other nigga pulled his out, took a piss. <laughs> One nigga said, God damn, it's water cold. <laughs> Other nigga said, yeah, and it's deep too. Boy, I could lie his ass off. <laughs> Say, yeah, in the deep, too. <laughs> God damn it, so. So, so the nigga got sick, see. I told him he was messing with this girl from Louisiana. And I said, boy, you better leave that health alone, see. Because I know she knows something, see. What she did was she put a hex on his ass. That's right, and made that nigga sick. Boy's feet swole up like this. Hands shriveled up. Blood was coming out of his eye. When I seen the nigga scared the shit out of me, I said, told him not you. I say, God damn, nigga, you sick. He said, any fool can see that. He said, tell me what kind of sickness I got. I said, well, what the symptom? What? Say, symptom my ass, you looking at the symptom. I said, my goddamn feet are swollen up, look like elephant foot. Say, my arms is weak, blood coming out my eye. Plus, I'm in love with a bitch I can't stand. Well, shit, right away, I know what's wrong, see? I said, boy, that girl done put a mojo on your ass. <laughs> said, I'll take you over to Jefferson, where the voodoo lady live, have a fixing for you. See, because the voodoo lady named Miss Rudolph lived over there. She could do it. That was her name, Miss Rudolph, see? They named her after that deer. <laughs> and she was good, too, man. She had this monkey's foot around her neck and a three-legged monkey. Yeah. And that monkey didn't give her no trouble. That monkey fucked with everybody but her, see? And this monkey's foot stunk all to be down. And she says, smelt that way to keep the spirits and most peoples away. Well, it worked on me because it's been eight years since I seen the bitch, see? So, come this, we went over there. I had a 33 packet, stopped, got a little gas. I drove the nigga over there, made him pay for it. <laughs> we get over there, I'm the one got to knock on the door, see? So I go up to the door, I knock on the door. She opened the door, man, the funk rushed out the house, <laughs> knocked me to my goddamn knees, and I'm looking up at her, she ain't got on no Bazil, and the biggest titties in the world, they were swollen up, looked like that nigga's feet. 
and she had a tattoo on each titty. Had a big eye on one titty and a pair of lips on the other. And I'm praying to God I ain't got to kiss nothing, see? So I was looking at this titty, looking at me, and looked like it winked at me. She said, boy, get your ass in here. Get off the floor. So I walked into the house. I'm kind of nervous because bugs and shit crawling around all on the floor. There's a goddamn bat flying around like this, see? Now this monkey comes in there so fucking with me, jumped all on my neck and shit, and it felt funny because he got them little monkey hands be fucking with your ears, you know? And I'm trying to act like I'm petting this motherfucker, but I'm poking him in the eye. Get him off me, see? Because I don't want to offend this bitch with this monkey foot, see? Because she scratch your ass with that foot, that's all over. And I said, Miss Rudolph, Miss Rudolph, please, can you do something about the monkey? She said, I don't have to do shit about the monkey. The monkey live here, nigga. You visiting. <laughs> well, shit, I had to accept that, see? So I explained to her what was happening. I said, my partner's sick. Please, he needs some help. Would you be so kind as to help him? I said, the feet are swollen up. Eyes and shit, he all messed up. I said, now, first of all, I got to explain to you, I don't have no money. I said, I'm, I'm posing as a Chinaman working on the railroad. And all I got is that Yang money. She said, no, I don't want none of that. She said, what you do, though, come Thanksgiving, bring me by a goose or a turkey. That's all right. You know, I said, well, shit, that's fine with me, because it was June then. <laughs> if I don't ever see this bitch no more in life, it's all right with me, see? And just about that time, a big motherfucking tarantula this big crawled up my arm, round my neck, I almost shit on myself, man. <laughs> Went down this arm under my hand. I tried to mash him. When I lift my hand up, he was gone. That's when I put my hand on my knife. Because I figured if somebody get hurt in here, I ain't going to be the last one, see? I said, Miss Rudolph, Please tell me what happened to the tarantula. She said, that ain't none of your goddamn business. But if you don't bring me that turkey, you will see him again. So when I left the house, I'm thinking turkey. There's a big pretty bird in my goddamn mind. See, I don't give a shit if she's in Timbuktu, the bitch got a turkey coming for me. So I get out to the car, now two of them, he don't want to get out the car. I said, nigga, you better get your ass up out of this car. Much shit I done been through in there. I kick you on one of them big foots. I just said that to him, I wouldn't really kick him, see, but nigga made me mad, see it. So I helped him out the car. We walk up to the house, this nigga Palmer house, and like, see, motherfucking feet is hiking him, see. I'm trying not to laugh at him because he's my partner. So I help him in the house. He get in the house and see all them bugs and shit crawling around. He try to lift his feet up, but he's scared. <laughs> Cause them feet hurt and them bugs is fucking with him. All he can do is go, mm, mm. I said, nigga, sit your ass down. Fuck them bugs. So just pretend like it's furniture. <laughs> so the nigga, he eased down on the couch. He had to ease down cause he got the piles. <laughs> he eased down. Yeah, this bitch done fuck with him, see? Tore his ass up. He eased now, stretched his feet out. Just about that time, she come from out the back, back room, had a big wash pan. And she said a few words over it, you know. And then she squatted and pissed. That's right, she pissed for 15 minutes. Old strong ammonia pissed too. Then she slid the pot over by the boy's feet. Said, Junior, put your feet in that. Well, I'm sure enough trying not to laugh now, nah, Junior. Well, this nigga put his feet in his piss, it's all over for me, see. I said, go ahead, boy. <laughs> see, because I'm going to talk about his ass 44 years he put his feet in his piss. <laughs> well, I guess the nigga said nothing from nothing lead nothing. <laughs> so he put his foot in there, <laughs> put the other one, the other one almost didn't fit in there. I said, oh, God, this bitch going to piss some more. <laughs> so I pushed the foot down, <laughs> got covered up. 
Water come into the bubbling and boiling. Sparks start flying. Goddamn bugs was running all crazy. Bat was flying around. Monkeys start shitting everywhere. That's when I took my knife out then. See. And she ran over and stroked this nigga with the monkey's foot. And he was trembling like that. I tried to get the door open. It was locked. I start stabbing this motherfucker like this. Then all of a sudden it got real quiet. And the piss turned blue. And I said, holy Jesus, holy Jesus. Because I ain't never seen no blue piss. Well, the boy eased his feet out the piss and there was healthy. The nigga had healthy feet. But it was real tiny. The nigga had little baby feet. I said, Junior, look at your feet. He looked down, seen his feet. The nigga went berserk. Killed the monkey. Threw the bat out the window. Start kicking that bitch in the air. And them little feet was going like them. Nigga wore a three pair of kneecap kicking her in the air. And he snatched the monkey foot off her neck, swallowed that. Well, he shouldn't have done that. Because they came and got his ass and took him to the zoo. And you can see him if you go down there. He's the polar bear. With little tiny feet. <laughs>